Alright guys, this is ITGuy8989 eight nine eight nine, bringing you another video. Guys, hope you guys enjoyed the last video. Um, we left off joining the Gladiators Guild. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow. I highly recommend it, especially if you want to win some rewards. Guys, I'll be doing some giveaways, so it's only going to be available to my subscribers. So make sure that you do subscribe, guys, um, to get into that. Look at the population, guys. This is huge. What's going on? Look at these people. These are all people. These people all set this up. this up you can tell the community to this guy that's awesome so since we can go this way let's uh, try to slay some of these beetles get some of this content going I got lost in that little let's turn that down a bit I got lost in that crowd, guys. There's a huge crowd of people playing right now. Okay, guys, it looks like we're gonna be able to go out this way. Okay, it's talking about battle systems now. Right click on the target to switch to active mode and be ready to auto attack. Approach and face the target to start the battle. Two rotating arrows will appear over the target you are currently attacking. Various actions such as spells and weapon skills can be performed by clicking the icons located in the hot bar on the bottom of the screen. These action counts will be initiated using the shortcut keys. Most actions require magic points to execute in addition to having rest cast times or various lengths. Detailed information of the action can be viewed by mousing over its icon. So you can mouse over it and then another window pops up describing what happens. Okay. Nice. There are also rewards uh, upon attaining certain achievements. Some of these include rare weapons or armor. Nice. Look at that. I think this guy just had a motorcycle. Look at some of these mounts, guys. That's epic. Okay, so let's, uh... Let's see, we're trying to slay some ladybugs. So let's see uh, how this combat system looks, guys. Okay, it says an event of multiple solo attack the same target. The player who attacks first will always receive 100% of the experience points and items drop. The players who follow will be rewarded based on their contribution to the battle. 
An item you have equipped is now bound, so you, you can no longer be able to trade it. Okay. So there's binding items. Alright, so basically, pretty, the, the, the battle's pretty basic in the beginning. Turn the items down a bit. Basically, auto attacks and skills. Looks like in the beginning, it's, it's really basic. I'm just trying to get you used to using your skills. Nice. I'm not gonna lie, um, I kinda appreciate Guild Wars 2's co combat a bit, a bit more, at least starting off, I don't know if this is, uh, going to improve later on. But we'll see guys. There has to be a reason why everybody's playing this game. Maybe it's not just for the combat, maybe it's for the... For something else guys, so we'll see. Okay, so we finished that quest. Where can we find these huge hornets? They're over there. Alright, so these guys are on the opposite side of the map. So it looks like we're going to have to travel around. So there we go guys, at least we got a bit of a, a scene of the the combat content. Leveling seems like it's pretty quick. I'm at level 3 already now. Um, let's see where we're going. Going this way. We gotta go back to the Gladiator Guild anyway, so... This is the name of science. Okay, so basically to complete the rest of these guilds, we're gonna have to go out here anyway. Or the guilds. These guys are dope. Look at this guy. Looks like level 80 is the max level. He looks cool too. Does that guy got a reaper blade? Maybe the customization is endless. That's why people play this game so much, guys. Okay, so now we're out of here. That looks like a new magic user. That's how you look like when you're new. We, we look so lame compared to everybody else. Not level one time, guys. 
It looks like the ones with little circles are supposed to be part of your quest. So that's pretty helpful. I like how they did that. Give you some direction on what to do. So you don't just come out here and kill mindlessly. Oh, not combos, guys. Melee oriented classes such as Gladiator and Murado can chain gather their weapon skills to do additional damage or inflict additional amphibiments to their targets. Combos are not available to Puglis. This is a melee class of course. So we get to chain guys. Cause this weapon skill can be chained with another. In case four pro thrust to the left is executed immediately after it thirst. Okay. Okay guys, so they just taught us about some combos. Interesting. Can you cast it without the combo? I think it just improves the damage afterwards. Combo action fast play. Okay. So now I got a slash and a stab, it looks like. Alright, it looks like we go this way. These little red circles indicate where the quest objective is at. So that's a... And look, we got this little... Guy, that's who we're supposed to be slaying, guys. It looks like there is auto loot, which is pretty cool. Other games don't really have auto loot. You have to like earn it and lock it. I am playing with a Razor Naga, guys. That's why I don't come here and click the moves like other people probably would. I have a number key mouse that are, is made for these type of games nice guys and I think we complete everything we gotta do out here there's a level 12 nest alright that's for some deeper exploring but yeah I think I'm gonna end the video right there guys um, we completed all the outside quests and showed you a bit how the battle system works guys and uh, I don't even know how to get back in how do I get back in? oh I think the main city is over there yeah it looks like it's right in front of me yeah guys but this is IT guy 8989 um, don't forget to like subscribe follow share guys help me get those thousand subscribers guys I really need it um, to continue to come to be able to continue to make this type of content guys so um, thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful night.